So we have a crazy video today. We have how Drake's writing switch shot works, aka the OVO switch shot. This is crazy. But if you're new to this channel, make sure you smash the sub button if you're watching on YouTube. And if you watch it on Facebook, make sure you hit that follow button. But without further ado, let's get straight to this video. So McConan had a problem. Y'all remember McConan, right? The guy who sings club going up. But anyway, uh, McConan had a problem. He comes out with a song called Tuesday that was blowing up in the underground. Now, the person who produced the song, his name was Sonny Digital. He was pretty famous. McConan, not that famous. Sonny Digital gets a phone call from somebody named Drake. Hmm. Drake tells him, hey, let me get on the song Tuesday. Now, well, let me say this. For the for the guy who posted this video, and by the way, this channel, uh, Xevi, I don't know if I said that wrong. <laughs> they posted this video, but I'm not sure if they uh, there. This is you know this is from uh, looks like TikTok, so I'm not sure if they posted this, but uh, is this facts? You know what I'm saying? Is this facts so far? Is is this guy reliable? Anyway, let's continue. So I'm gonna just say allegedly with this video. It is this all this is allegedly. If you know much about the music industry, but this is not something you do. This is kind of like if you had a coworker call your boss to tell you to cover their shift. Your boss would be like, "Why don't you ask yourself?" And that's exactly what Sonny did. He says, "Why don't you ask McConaughey yourself?" You know what? Don't even worry about it. I'll ask him for you. So he asked McConaughey, "Hey, you want Drake to get on your song?" McConaughey goes, "Of course, I'm an unknown artist, Drake." Drake gets on the song, the song becomes a huge hit, and everybody lives happily ever after. Psych stupid, here's where things start to get wicked. <laughs> he, said, he said, psych stupid. Hey, man, listen, why, why, why we gotta be stupid? No, I was just playing. If you bought in that they live happily ever after, I'm not gonna say you stupid, but uh, maybe you just don't know. It ain't happily ever after with the whole McConaughey thing. The only song I probably know by him is Tuesday, crazy enough. No diss to McConaughey, but... Let me know if you know some more songs. McConan gets two deals. He gets a deal offer from Drake saying, hey, why don't you come sign to me? And he gets another offer from somebody else. Now, I need you to start listening right now. Drake's offer is every song that you've ever created, you need to take down. He had like 10 albums at this point. And also, you don't have to pay for the feature that I just gave you, meaning that the opposite is true. Mm. If you don't sign to me, you have to pay for the feature that I gave you, even though I asked to be on your song. And, if you and that's why you can't, I mean, if this is facts, this is alleged. If this is facts, man, you can't. You can't. Business, most of the time, is always going to be leaning towards who's ever presenting it, the business, right? Like, say, for instance, if I open up a cookie shop, I'm going to try in my best interest to make me earn the most money since it's my business, right? I mean, it's just common sense. So if I open a label or a branch of a label, I'm going to want the most percentage off of whoever I sign or whatever material I put out. Um, because ultimately, the main source is going to get the most money because it's set up that way. So, I suggest just learn how to read contracts and don't trust every lawyer that is given to you because they didn't, might not have your best interest either. So, <laughs> you got to know what you're getting into and don't be afraid to ask questions for a Drake feature price, which is a lot of money that he definitely doesn't have, then you need to take the song down. The song that's basically making your career go up at this point. The other deal was a standard deal that basically let him keep all of his songs. His manager told him, take the standard deal. Taking the Drake deal is idiotic. He took the Drake deal. Drake said, welcome to... I'm sorry. He told... His, if his manager literally allegedly told him this is a dumb deal. You shouldn't take this deal. And he took it anyway. Is Drake grown allegedly for offering that? He, he is. Is he wrong for taking it? Yeah. Two things can be true at once, people. You know, 
Is it shady business? Yeah. But when you know you're getting, if somebody in your corner told you getting into shady business and you took the deal anyway, what do we have left to talk about? Look at Twitter. McCona looks at Twitter. All of his old tweets about him dissing Drake, talking crazy about Drake, resurfaced. Now, if y'all know anything about Drake, he takes things very, very personally. But come on, he just signed a new artist. Hey, they smooth things over. It's all good. Drake invites him to the studio. McCona goes over to the studio with his manager. Everything cool. And then uh, McCona's boyfriend walks in. McCona's manager looks like, why did you invite him? McCona goes, he cool. He gonna be fine. McCona's manager looks at his boyfriend and says, don't say anything that's gonna be weird. McCona's boyfriend goes, you know I'm cool. I'm cool. <clears throat> wow, Drake, your place looks super nice. Wow, we finally made it, McCona. <laughs> Look at us. We did it. We're in Drake's place. Drake go. Like I asked at the beginning, is this reliable? How do you know all of this? Were you there? If you were there, this is crazy. This takes the story to a crazier level. Go. McCona go. Drake said, yeah, they stopped hearing from Drake. Drake didn't help him promote his album. None of that. Now, all this is stressful. He fires his manager. All of a sudden, tweets come out saying, I hate Drake. He not helping me promote my album from him. He says, I didn't send these. They were my manager who I just fired. He still had access to my Twitter. Didn't matter. Drake heated up. Now the worst part is he was just at the Grammys. The tweets then dropped talking about Drake and Rihanna and everybody in the industry. Everybody in the industry like, hmm, that do kind of weird. Drake goes, you're dropped from the label. And the sad part is it didn't even matter. He was trapped by OVO long enough for his career to take a decline. And McConan himself describes Man. the OVO sweatshop best. They call Drake's label the OVO sweatshop, by the way. He said they only signed him because Drake needed a hit song. Before they signed him, Drake I don't know about that, though. Drake, we you say it? it depends on how you, how you interpret what he just said. You know what I'm saying? Of course, everything... We know how Drake does. Let's be honest. We know how he does. If you don't know how he does, somebody in the comment gonna let you know if you don't know. <laughs> but uh, we know how he does, but needed a hit song. It depends on the context of that, you know. Uh, he definitely, I remember when he, uh, when Tuesday came out, he sounded like McConan on the song. All of this is alleged though. This is crazy. Yeah. The this is crazy. Song right I ever heard. After they sign them, no phone calls. Think about everything I've said in this video from a business perspective. How did Drake know about McConan in the first place? How did he know about Migos when they first came out? How did he know about Blockboy JB? How did he know about the million artists that he's been on features with? Well, he's very tapped into the underground music scene. If an artist is starting to rise, you can bet that you're going to see a Drake feature or a Drake remix with that artist. Now, if you don't have a label, you'll get offered a label. Then you'll find yourself writing a lot of songs and giving up a lot of songs to Drake. Word to the weekend. Let's just thank God that he never officially signed that <laughs> He said, let's just thank God that he never signed his life away. As in what the weekend said in his song. You know what I'm saying? Um, but then Drake came back and it was like, he said, uh. <laughs> As a full-time student and content creator, uh, shout out to the life. ads, man. But that's gonna be that's gonna wrap up this video. If you want uh, more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. Or if you're tired of seeing all the Drake videos, and you and you're a Drake fan and you just sick of it, also let me in the comment section. Let me know in the comment section below. It is what it is, bro. But I'm gonna be honest. If all this stuff is facts, somebody is.